Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to use RP2040 controllers to generate VIO firmwares for the mecha uh, mechanical custom mechanical keyboard. So first of all, why do we want to use the RP2040 instead of say a Pro Micro uh, controller? The reason is basically they are cheaper and better. So here you can see the other fruit uh, KB2040 is let's say $9. And it has uh, more RAM. If you have uh, experience with uh, uh, micro, Pro Micro, you will know uh, oftentimes you have to uh, delete features to uh, uh, fit the firmware into the uh, memory. Okay, let me show you some more details. Uh, so you can see, basically it has a, a better processor has a lot more memory depending on which model you have they may have different amount of memories uh, and they're cheaper okay now you can see elici is 18 dollars elite pi is 13 dollars and this uh, kb2040 is nine dollars and if you buy more it's even cheaper and you can see Elite Pi has uh, 16 megabit memory, uh, two, 2 megabyte. Okay, also in order to support uh, the QMK firmware and also the VIO QMK firmware, it's actually very easy. All you need to do is find your uh, model and when you uh, generate the firmware, you say dash e convert to equals that particular model. Okay, let me show you one example. So I'm using a SparkFun uh, Pro Micro RP2040. So what you need to say is this line. So uh, I use compile here. So let's run this command. So now you can really put all the features on because uh, uh, it has a lot more memory. Okay, so it's a, after compilation, it will generate a file called uh, something something uf2, uh, and then you need to pull this uh, uh, put this file into the into that uh, chip into the controller. So this is actually different from the normal way now. I don't know if there's a way to use QMK uh, toolbox, but the way I learned it is uh, to here. So usually for those RP2040 controllers, there are two buttons. This one is boot and this one is reset. And in order to go into the, uh, in order to fresh the firmware, you actually first put it in the boot mo mode, which means you press this boot button when you plug it in, and then it will behave like a, a, a external drive. Then you pull that uh, UF2 file into it. Okay, let me show you. I will press that button and connect to the uh, USB-C. Now you see there is a drive here. Now I need to put the, the let me just use a new one. Uh, where is it? It's this one. So we just pull this in and it will automatically uh, unlaunch itself. And it's already connected. This is the default firmware. Okay, that's all for today. I will put those links uh, in the description. Thanks for watching.